everyone. Hello. I think I have to say hello again to some of you who came to see my presentation in the morning. Uh, my name is Shi Ho, and I went to Minnesota. I went, I went to Minnesota State University as a first exchange student. First of all, do you know Minnesota? Have you ever heard the name? Okay. Minnesota is one of the states in the United States, and it is located next to Canada. And I, I, I arrived in Minnesota in the middle of August. At that time, it, it was very, very dry and very hot. However, Minnesota is very famous for cold place. I, I, was, I wore the very thick winter jacket from November to right before I back to Japan. It was a very cold place. And it was the first time for me that I experienced negative 27 Celsius in winter. It was very freezing and cold. And as Ms. Matsumura introduced me, I was sent to Minnesota State University as a first exchange student. And I could take some regular classes in the university. And I will talk about the classes later. And outside the class, I, I was in charge of te teaching Japanese with my Japanese friends. And we had 10 class in our first semester. And we usually, we made a small dialogue. We made a small conversation. And we asked the student to find a partner and practice the dialogue, as we do in integrated English, I think. And the reason why we did so was to let the student have a sense of accomplishment that they could speak Japanese. They could use Japanese. And I hope they had fun. And I will talk about classes that I took in two semesters. And since I wanted to be an English teacher, and I already took some classes, um, I mean some teaching classes at Kasui, so I took some teaching class in Minnesota. It, it's called TESO. Some people say TESO, and TESO stands for teaching English as a second language. And also I took children's literature class and public education. I also took intercultural communication class. I think all of you took Ms. Nishihara's class, even communication. So I learned the similar thing in the intercultural communication. And I, I also took some English classes for international students. These classes focused on speaking, writing, and making a presentation in English. And i like to show some books that I use for these classes. And I use this thick book for TESO class. This book mainly talks about grammar. And this book has 20 chapters, about 20 chapters. And in this class, uh, students were asked to read at least two chapters to be ready for class discussion and also to be ready for online quiz. It was very hard. And this book is my favorite, Charles Ware. I used this book I read this book for children's literature class. In this class, students have to read at least one designated book for class discussion during the class, and also to write a report. So since I had 20 class, uh, 15 classes for each class, so I read this kind of book more than 15 books in one semester. And I think last year, our, our, 
Senpai Maeda-san told you, might tell you that how hard it is to take regular classes in a foreign country. And actually it was. It was very hard. And because I had lots of lots of homework, class, uh, class discussion, presentation, they are very hard and but I learned a lot. And I'd like to talk about things I tried outside the class. Uh, I got into some communities, such as a local community center for immigrants who are learning English as a second language. And I visited there to teach English as a student teacher. I also attended the local church which was very near from the university. I visited the church to attend the service, of course, and also I helped Sunday school. Have you ever heard Sunday school? No. Sunday school doesn't mean students have to study. Sunday school are basically for young kids. They provide places to play with toys, while their parents were attending the service. And the picture on the right side was taken in the playroom. Because of the boy's privacy, I couldn't show his face, but we play in this kind of room. It was very fun. And you, I think I had classes almost every day. But Minnesota State has a college of business, which means on Friday, basically they do not provide any classes. So I had three holidays, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So right after I finished the, my night class, which finished 9.30 at p.m., I sometimes visited my friend's house to have dinner together and cook together. And the picture on the right side, we made kimpa. I think uh, this is Korean food. And also we bake some cookies. And Minnesota State have a lot of cultural event. So me and my friends show up on the stage to play some instrument, which was very nice. And we made takoyaki, since my, one of my Japanese friends had takoyaki set, so we made together. And the picture on the right side, uh, I think the, the picture was taken on Halloween. We carved very big pumpkin, and we had a competition to decide which one the best, and I lost. <laughs> <laughs> the picture in the center, was taken with my friendship family. I think you may know host family, right? And but I didn't have official host family, but I had friendship family. I didn't live with them. I had my own room and they had own house rooms. But sometimes, especially on weekend, we met up and had some fun together. Sometimes I made sushi for them and they loved them. And I had spring vacation and winter vacation. And the picture on the bottom, the red, left side, was taken at Niagara Falls in New York. I visited there with Japanese friend in, a new, in spring vacation. Also, after New Year's Day, I, went, I traveled to New York to meet all my friends and I learned a lot in there. One of the things I was very surprised was that when I took the subway, I did not hear any English at all in the subway. According to their intonation and the way of using tongue, I think they, was, they are speaking Spanish. And I felt a very diverse population in New York. Before that, I think, I thought New York is very modern place and 
as you may know, New York is the center of business. But now I know New York is a very diverse city. And through about one year, I had a, a lot of important lessons. And through two semester, I made a lots of lots of mistakes. It took a lot of time to adjust the new style of classes in America because they had lots of discussion presentation. And I clearly remember that when I was speaking in front of the class, some guys are laughing at me. I, I assume my, my intonation, my English was not clear enough to them. I was very disappointed about myself sometimes, but I kept trying. And even now I'm not perfect, but I believe I changed myself in a good way. So I learned a lot from mistakes. And as I mentioned, since I had lots of lots of discussion, they realized me the importance of being active as an individual. These are the, my important lessons through two semester in Minnesota State University. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much.